Minimum tax. What is minimum tax? Income tax is payable on taxable income or profits generated by companies from their activities. There are situations where a company's tax computation results in no tax liability. This means that the company did not make a taxable profit. In such a situation, the company will be liable to tax based on minimum tax. Section 33, subsection 1 of Companies Income Act, Cap C21, LFN 2004, states that, notwithstanding any other provision, Before I bore you to sleep, the law basically states that if a company doesn't make a taxable profit or if the tax payable by the company is less than the minimum tax, as calculated based on the company's cash flow and relevant laws, then the company will pay the calculated minimum tax. In the Finance Acts 2019 and 2020, the federal government amended the laws governing minimum tax and introduced a new basis for computing it, moving away from a combination of equity, net assets, and revenue-based approach to a complete revenue-based model. In the amendment, the minimum tax is to be computed at a flat rate of 0.5% of gross turnover, less franked investment income. The amendment also deleted the exemptions granted to companies with imported equity of 25% and above and introduced the minimum tax exemption for small companies with a gross turnover of less than 25 million naira. The Finance Act 2021 reduced the minimum tax rate from 0.5% to 0.25% for any two consecutive accounting periods falling from 1st January 2019 to 31st December 2021, as may be elected by the taxpayer. How to calculate minimum tax? Let's say Pay Me Limited is a small manufacturing company that has been in operation for three years. For the current year of assessment, Pay Me Limited has the following financial information Gross turnover. 30 million naira. Franked investment income, 2 million naira. Note, franked investment income includes income that has already suffered tax at source like dividends. Computation of minimum tax. The minimum tax payable is calculated at 0.5% of gross turnover less franked investment income. The formula is minimum tax equal to 0.5% of the difference between gross turnover and franked investment income. This is equal to 0.5% of the difference between 30 million naira and 2 million naira, which is equal to 0.5% of 28 million naira equal to 140,000 naira. Analysis. 1. Exemption for first four years. Since Pay Me Limited is in its third year of operation, it qualifies for exemption from minimum tax and therefore no minimum tax is payable. By their fifth year due, this will change. 2. Calculation for subsequent years. In the subsequent years, Pay Me Limited will need to calculate the minimum tax using the provided formula. 3. Frank Investments Income. This includes income like dividends that have already suffered tax at source. In this example, it is 2 million naira. 4. Exemption for small companies. The amendment grants an exemption for small companies with annual gross turnover of less than 25 million naira. Pay Me Limited's annual gross turnover of 30 million naira places it above this threshold, making it subject to the minimum tax calculation. Things to note. 1. Companies in their first four years of operations as well as those engaged in agriculture or small businesses are exempt from minimum tax. 2. For non-life insurance companies, the minimum tax is calculated at 0.5% of the gross premium. 3. For life insurance companies, the minimum tax is calculated at 0.5% of gross income. This example provides a simplified illustration of how a small company like Pay Me Limited could calculate its minimum tax based on the amended regulations in Nigeria. These calculations are accurate as at the 14th of March 2024. To learn more about the Nigerian tax system, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.
You can also visit our website at www.nextyearnigeria.com. See you in the next one.